guys, John Luke Five here in my uh, creative, creative mode world, and I just want to show you guys a little something that I, I made right here. This is an arrow cannon. Here, I actually have four of them lined up just for effect, because I'm going to show you guys later. But um, let me show you a little how it works. It's pretty much like a basic TNT cannon. You have the TNT charge here that is set up in the, set off immediately by the redstone here. But as you can hear, there's these arrows right here. And, um, I saw a video on YouTube that uh, that shows that when you have arrows stuck in a repeater that um, is getting powered on and off like this with a clock, then um, they're going to keep moving like this, which causes them to never disappear. So I decided to use this to make um, an arrow cannon. So here I have a bunch of repeaters lined up. Um, which times it perfectly so that this block retracts right when this is about to blow up so the arrows are in midair air when this blows up and it launches the arrows. So here I have them set up in a row with a little bit of delay between them so you can just kind of show you how it works. And um, I'm, I'm planning to use these in a race for wall map that I'm, that I'm working on. Like it will be a trap that you can set off onto the other team that will shoot arrows on them. I think that'd be pretty cool to use. Um, so just to show you that that would work, I'm gonna just quickly take it out and then go back in and show the arrows. Stay there. So see, the arrows still there. I've even like I've done this for like I had these arrows in for a while and um, they're still here. And they're been until we have an hour and I I didn't even have Minecraft open at all. And this one, so, pretty awesome. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I'm gonna shoot it. There, the last two you can see the arrows go too far away, but yeah, they will, they will try. So um, you have to replace the repeater between shots, which isn't going to be a problem for my map because it's going to be like a one-time use thing. And then you just load it again, and then you're shooting a bunch of arrows in. And you have to try to spread them out a little bit because if you put them all in the same spot, first of all they won't go as far, and second of all they will um, they will just all land in the same spot. So if you spread them out, then they'll get spread out when they get shot. Uh, I use three TNT, like I can use four or more, you know, it just it needs to go further. And the timing for the piston here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine repeaters on full delay, and one on three delay, and then there's also an extra six on this red sun touch here. So the total has ten repeaters on four delay, which is forty ticks. So if you want to make your own, you can also fiddle around with it, so maybe you can want the arrows to get shot when they're a little higher in the air, so like take off the tick, or when they're a little lower, add a tick, and just play around with it. And then this is a simple just loop, you can make any loop really, it doesn't matter what it looks like, I just made a quick one. So now I'm just going to show you the like, camera firing from this position. So this gets lit, and then it travels, and then... As you can see, this pulled back, and then the arrows were shot, and they went back. So, um, that's how that works. Uh, if you guys want a full tutorial, like if you can't figure out from this video, you, I'm pretty sure you can. There's a half slab right there. It's pretty simple to make. It's pretty much like a regular TNT cannon, but if you can't figure it out and you want a tutorial, just post a comment below and uh, ask me for one, and I'll try to make a tutorial for you guys. So, um, thanks for watching.